In today's video, I'm going to take a look at the changes that was needed to XPBD to simulate physical lines. I was struggling with the stability of lines, at some point running the simulation at a quarter of a millisecond with 30 sub-steps, an impossibility to solve in real time. My investigation led me to two separate problems, but let's look at the three solutions side by side first. On the left the standard XPBD, with constant wind applied to all of the line segments. In the middle I calculate individual wind for each segment taking the local little movements of the lines into account and on the right hand side I add constrained damping to the vertices. In the first shall I say naive case the amount of shaking in the lines is so severe that it actually deforms the glider wing until it falls from the sky. This is clearly an issue and it had to be solved. The most important aspect here is that those small changes in speed of different parts of the line results in aerodynamic forces that actually dampens the lines and this is critical. It just shows that your first conclusion should never be that your cloth simulation is actually broken. With the airflow correct the result is way better but there's still quite a bit of swaying in the lines. Physical lines are made of many fibers which rub across one another when they bend. This absorbs a lot of energy and is the last link in this puzzle. I use local velocity changes as a measurement for that bending because it's easy and cheap to calculate. If any section of line is moving at a different speed compared to its two closest neighbors, there's clearly bending happening and I subtract some percentage of that energy from the simulation. The result is amazingly stable and a fantastic improvement.